Hey everyone, welcome back to The Desert Flower. I'm giving you good reason to second guess throwing out some common ingredients in your kitchen because they can transform and become something so delicious and for one of these ingredients, actually beneficial for your home. Stick with me to find out. Oh, I That's like good. that. So if you're new here, thank you so much. You've come on an awesome day. And if you have been sticking with me, then you have seen this last video that I made. My mom helped me transform some leftover hamburger and hot dog buns into breadcrumbs. And you guys, like if you have hamburger and hot dog buns left over from the barbecue, now that spring season and summer are upon us, this is the time where you're gonna have a lot of hamburger and hot dog buns left over. So as you can see, my mom just put some oil, spices, put them in the oven, and we have some homemade breadcrumbs. And what I did with this was I transformed it once again, and I put it in the food processor to really pulse it up into fine breadcrumbs, and I'm gonna be making chicken Parmesan. I took three chicken breasts, I cut them down the middle so they would be even thickness. I have my breadcrumbs right here that are already seasoned. I have a flour mixture with garlic powder, salt, pepper, basil, parsley, oregano, or you can just use Italian seasoning. And I have just simple eggs that I scrambled. So as you can see, I'm giving my chicken breasts a good coating in the flour mixture. I'm just kind of shaking off the excess and then I'm gonna dip it in the egg mixture and then I'm gonna lay those down in those yummy breadcrumbs and then you're gonna see me here in a minute. I'm gonna just put those in some hot oil and just let them fry. some of the breading into the oil just to see if the oil was ready and I dropped those suckers in I'm gonna let them fry up and as soon as they get golden on either side I am going to put some spaghetti sauce and mozzarella cheese and then I'm gonna put those in the oven at 350 just to get the cheese melting and all of those ingredients work together look at how beautiful that looks you guys <laughs> the breading is made with breadcrumbs from hamburger and hot dog buns. Can you believe it? You have a delicious Italian dinner with just those ingredients. So the next time you're making meatloaf, chicken strips, anything that calls for breadcrumbs, hold on to those buns because they're gonna come in handy. So this right here is my favorite hack of all time. You have some chopped salad bags in your fridge. I know you do, <laughs> I always do. And I usually, when they start looking a little wet on the inside, I don't really want to eat them as a salad anymore, obviously, but I never throw these away because the ingredients in a chopped salad always have really hearty lettuces, really hearty vegetables, carrots, radicchio, kale, Brussels sprouts, all things that you can saute. So tonight is just another variation of what I do to transform those chopped salads into a healthy meal. So I took out the Italian sausage that I was browning, I added some more oil and butter to the pan, and then I threw in that chopped salad kit, some mushrooms. Once that was all cooked together, I threw the sausage back in. I added some Greek seasoning. You can add whatever seasoning you want. You can add seasoned salt, you can add whatever spice mix you have that you're loving. Just throw it all together, you guys. Put it over rice and you have a quick, healthy meal that takes less than 30 minutes. Remember, anytime you have a chopped salad bag in your fridge, go ahead and replace that with any meal that involves sauteed vegetables. So now, you see me eating a banana here. You see this cup of water. Well, I'm gonna put the peel of my banana into the cup of water. I'm gonna just close this lid up. You could use a mason jar, you can use an old Tupperware. 
whatever. We'll just store this on the counter for a day. Let it sit and this is going to be a yummy compost water that your plants are going to love. So next time you have those banana peels, don't throw them away because look at this. You can water your plants and it will be such a nice drink of water for them. Lots of nutrients going back into your plants and it will help them flourish. Thank you so much for watching guys short and sweet i know but that is the point these ingredients really don't take a lot of work to transform into something your family and your plants will love if you're like me and don't like wasting food then i hope you got some good ideas for your next meal plan i'll see you next week for more bye before i sleep